kinds of places in the world we know. All kinds of places that different creatures call home. There's the world of nature, where wild animals live. No cars or buildings, and only the trees are skyscrapers. Then there's the man-made world of the cities, built of concrete and steel, glass and chrome. Cities are exciting. They're crowded and noisy, with people rushing everywhere. And sometimes they're too crowded and too noisy, with people in too much of a rush. Let's journey to a land where the air is always clean and the only noise is the beautiful sound of animals talking to each other. We can't understand what they're saying, but there are some special little beings out there who can. They're called the gnomes. The animals are their neighbors, and their neighborhood is the world. This world is there, just waiting for you. So come with me to the world of the gnome. Gnomes have a language all their own, but with a little magic from one very special gnome named David, we'll be able to understand them. What? You've never seen a gnome? Well, they're all around us. Just take a closer look. Let me show you the secret world, the stuff that dreams are made of. They're little people with full-sized hearts. There's nothing to be afraid of. You may not see them, but they're right here, up each day at the crack of dawn, Hurrying busily all around you before you get here and after you've gone. Oh, David, you have company calling. I thought so. Send them right in. Welcome. Come in, come in. Don't be shy. We're not very formal here. Yeah. Oh, good evening. I'm David, son of the famous Tim of Uppsala. Welcome to our humble home. I'm glad you were able to make it. You must be really sympathetic to gnomes, otherwise you wouldn't be here. This, I know, is the first time you've met us, but we know 